How do my jorts look, bro? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Dope or Nope. Today we are going to be reliving our childhood trauma. Something I've always been waiting Wait, for. trauma? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. That's not what this video is about. We're gonna be reliving our childhood beloved memories. That's oh. better. I'm more excited about that. Yeah. Although these jorts were a part of my trauma story. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> How we're gonna be doing that is we're gonna be buying our favorite toys from our childhoods and we're gonna be showing them to each other, like show and tell. But this video is gonna have a little bit of a little twist a kiss. A little twist. Um, <laughs> twist! This is going to be a dope or die video. What that means is we're gonna have to present each product that we will buy to someone in the studio. If they give it a nope, we lose a life. Whoever has the least amount of lives at the end of the video will have to reveal a video of a loved one telling an embarrassing story from our childhood. Let's get into the video. I just wanna show you guys really quick to show how committed we are. This is what I looked like as a kid. It's me and my sister, Caitlin. I was wearing a T-Rex thing. This is what? <laughs> Yo, Woods looks the exact same, Dude. bro. They're all like, hey, Woods, take a picture. He's like, what if the world just stopped one day? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Matt here. I bet we can guess who these people are. J. Fred Shirless in the middle, is that Trevor? That's me on the right with the big ears. Wait, who's Trevor? Who's Trevor? How can you say that to me? I'm sorry. Can you just say that to me? May he rest in peace. He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> Trevor's gonna laugh so hard when he watches this. And to make sure we get Matt in full character, if you take a look here, Matt's got really spiked hair. So we're gonna spike Matt's hair really quick. Bro, this is the first product from my childhood. <laughs> Hardcore. Here we go. Dude, that is terrifying. I can't wait to show my kids this one day. Guys, I'm pregnant, by the way, so. Oh my gosh, no. Too much. Oh, so much. Yeah. Dude, that's hot, bro. I gotta look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you look dope, bro. All oh, right, bro. <laughs> the way he looks, bro. Yo, Matt's in character now, by the way. He is a five-year-old. Gotta get more Jordy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at my first product. I have to... <laughs> All right, guys, so we have the Nintendo 64. The reason I picked this is a core memory of my childhood and trauma is baked into the Nintendo 64. Here's why. This was my favorite thing growing up. This is how I got into playing video games. Smash Bros, Mario Kart. I was loving life. I grew up in a neighborhood that was like a little bit lower class. I was probably like five when this was going on. I, my cousin, who was probably 12, stole it. Stole all of my stuff from my house, took it and then uh, sold it. Is that cousin still alive? Yeah, he is, he's in prison right now. Most recently, took my Black Ops 2 disc forever. He's like, hey, can I borrow that? I was like, yeah, bring it back. Never came back, never heard from him again, went to prison. Anyways, he loves stealing video game stuff. Let's go and add this to cart. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're actually reliving childhood trauma. No, I gotta air this out, yeah. He's like, I've never talked about this before. Yeah. Here we go, my childhood in a box. I can't wait to open it. Wow. I was always that kid. Wow. Like on Christmas, that was like, bro. You were that kid on Christmas. <laughs> so we have the Nintendo 64, look at that baby. Bucks. If that logo doesn't make your Jimmy's Rossell. You know what controller I had? I had the clear purple controller. Yeah, and you know yeah. what? A deal I made with my brother, I said, you can have this bubblicious chew if I get to use the purple controller forever. He took it. He still regrets <laughs> it. He learned a valuable lesson that day. He got like 15 seconds of flavor. We also have Goldeneye with it. This is widely considered to be the best Nintendo 64 game of all time. So we're gonna plug this in. There we go. And we're gonna get Liddy with it. Dude, dude, I just blew so much dirt in my mouth. <laughs> dude, this is so nostalgic, bro. Bro, this brings me back. All right, we're gonna play some multiplier. Yeah. This is the throwback. I'm coming for you, boys. Dude, I love old shooters where you literally could not control anything. I forgot how dark this game was. It's very dark in here. Hello. <laughs> where is you? I killed myself with a rocket launcher. Are we in like a like a McDonald's bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it kind of looks are... like it. Though. No! Where do you go? Oh, there he is! <laughs> no! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's like my cousin all Woo! over again. Yeah. Yes! First kill Except wins. Instead of stealing the game, he stole the fun. So I have to bring someone on set who will understand the nostalgia of this. And if they do and they give me a dope, then I get to keep my life. Cat was too young, dude. Cat. Cat's older than me. Bro, this gel's giving me a headache. <laughs> All right, Cat, don't touch anything. When it was his age and he was playing, he was like, no girls allowed. No, I loved girls playing video games when I was a kid. <laughs> Thoughts? Hey guys, uh, I play this all. <laughs> Sorry, I just see my bun in Matt's camera. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so this game brings back- Who are you talking to? Game. I'm not sure which one I'm- There's no camera over there. Let's talk about that. Sure, sure, sure. I've played this all the time with my brother and this brings back a lot of good memories and also a lot of like a lot of hateful memories <gasps> because my brother always beat me. Anyways, I like it a lot. It's a big dope. Woo, we 
Okay. That's one okay. dope life saved. Thank you. <laughs> one dope life saved. <laughs> <laughs> Next product. All right, so this will be my product. This is a butterfly enclosure. I really enjoyed this type of stuff as a kid. I was always outside and I was always like seeing stuff on the ground that was moving. And I'm like, I gotta have it. Have a net here, it's a pop-up net. And they send you some caterpillars. You get some food for them and stuff like that. They guarantee at least three caterpillars, huh? I mean, they ship like 50 and three survive. <laughs> <laughs> it says do not order if below 40 degrees or above 85 degrees in your area. Best not to order these in the summer, except it's summer right now. We're gonna order them anyways. And uh, the company's like, yeah, well, we'll sell them to you. So we're gonna add these to cart and hopefully we'll have some beautiful <laughs> butterflies. Bro, I'm so excited for these caterpillars. So the caterpillars, uh, died. On site. <laughs> on site. <laughs> you said that like someone opened up the pack, pulled out a gat, and just like, <laughs> <laughs> What we did was we just used the net. Went to Green Thumb, bought uh, 400 ladybugs and two praying mantis eggs. So there's about 300 <laughs> praying mantises ready to pop from these sacks. Are they just gonna have a Hunger Games fight when they all land? Like, is this Fortnite? They are cannibalistic, yes. I wanted butterflies from your childhood. Dude, the company sold us caterpillars <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> They're like, do not order! <laughs> All right, let's see it in action. Do we just crack it open? We got the ladybugs, so we're gonna bring them outside. Is that gonna lure out the praying mantis? The praying mantis, we might have to get a pickup shot. You guys might not even see it, so. There'll be a link in the description to a video of baby praying mantises. All right, let's get them ladybugs going. <laughs> just a random video, <laughs> not by us. <laughs> okay, guys, the butterfly habitat is gonna stay inside with the praying mantises, but another part of my childhood was just enclosures all together. One thing I really enjoyed was creating little habitats for them, so Bailey picked this thing up That's for really me. Cool. And it's got a pool, a slide, and uh, a jungle gym. And uh, I picked uh, Chanel, because I think Chanel enjoys life. 1,500 ladybugs, we're just kinda, like, kinda let them out. These guys know they're outside. They're like, everybody get ready! <laughs> They've been planning a prison break for hours. Okay, so I think that's a good amount. So you can see they're just really <laughs> enjoying this habitat. Enjoying with air quotes. I'm enjoying it. Oh, I love this. You, you, do you like it? Oh yeah, this is absolutely oh gosh, something I would have enjoyed. Would you hang out with falling. me after school? school? Could you say it a little less creepy? Oh, <laughs> do you want to hang out after school and catch bugs? Yeah. <laughs> that was less creepy. <laughs> so would that be a... Oh, that's a hundred percent a dope. That looks like somebody's crazy little brother named Eddie. Razor A3 kick scooter for kids. Larger wheels, front suspension. This was my childhood. I was straight up in Florida, psh, scooting around my subdivision. Subdivision? It's a southern thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little unit of houses, but with one exit. They're all over the floor. They were the rage. Is that what you guys call Florida? The floor? <laughs> Did I say the floor? Yeah, you're like, they're all over the floor. Man, I scooted. Come on, who doesn't like this? I'm for sure gonna get a dope. I can't afford to have my story told. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Here's my thing. I hope you get a no on this for it not being hyper nostalgic so we can hear your story because I've had a lot of hype up towards Matt's story from Matt himself, from Matt's brother. Nobody I only have really so many embarrassing things in my life that I haven't told on camera. I've been on camera. I've been a YouTuber for 10 years. So most of y'all know everything about me. <laughs> oh, look, you have the wheelie bar. This was the thing that they came out a little later. Who do you want to take it on a spin with that you think is going to get that same feeling as you? Cat. Yeah, Cat's like, going to be my best bet. Like, Let's do this. Got to do something sick with it. That was tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't pick me because I would have had to call this a joke. <laughs> oh no, if you both like it, it's nope. an automatic. You gotta joke. have Kat give it a yes. Not me. Come on, Kat knows she loves it. He's it's got part the of right me. color for sure. Dude, I hate this so much. It's so bad. She's not telling the truth, guys. She loves it. Look at her go. <laughs> Why do Razor scooters hit me in the noggin and just go, you love those? <laughs> yes, yeah! Yeah, oh my gosh, great. when are we gonna hear some of these stories, I'm dude? Sorry. Let's take a look at my next product. Everybody remembers these products. Moon shoes. If you watched any Nickelodeon, if you watched any Disney channel, moon shoes! I gotta show the commercial, oh. bro. This is the beginning of great marketing. Here we go, let's watch it. Moon shoes, moon shoes. Kid powered anti-gravity shoes, moon shoes. Anti-gravity shoes. Jumping up and down like a kangaroo. 
So the world's I, best commercial. I never wanted these, and I'll tell you why. Like I had access to like a giant trampoline. Here's what you guys are missing. I had a giant trampoline in my backyard, but this was a trampoline everywhere. You guys are thinking like, yeah, I can go jump on the trampoline. I'm thinking I want to go jump on the trampoline in Walmart. Bro, you can't get more than like a foot of airtime on that. You didn't watch the commercial. L okay, prove it. Buy them. I'm going to. Add to cart. All right. <laughs> Moon shoes. Good job. I'm so excited for these. This is what exactly what I look like as a kid. This kid's name's Tristan. He made it to the Olympics, but he dropped the torch on himself and passed away shortly after. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is Barbara. She survived though. Mini trampolines for your feet. Why am I opening it like this? I when I was a kid, I used to just do stuff like this. <laughs> Open Whatever. it. Moon shoes. Moon shoes. This is half the fun of making moon shoes though. Is like making them. Gosh, these are wet. Oh, these are wet. <laughs> no, it's oil. Don't put it. <laughs> Here, let me see that. Do those have no instructions on them? Oh, there are instructions. Now the only instructions are in my head. And you have five minutes before you have to show and tell. Oh my gosh, dude, this actually feels like a death sentence. This is the difference between me and Woods. Woods figured this out without needing any help. Hey, who are you gonna show this product to, bro? Uh, for sure gonna show it to Sam. Yeah, I'm just gonna rock with it. Here we go, the maiden voyage. Ooh, <laughs> woo! Woods, you took my balance off, bro. My hands are slippery, bro. <laughs> First off, they're working, <laughs> by the way. Why are you holding on to me, dude? What do you mean? I'm, I'm literally levitating. My toes are ripping against the sides. My feet are too big for these, for sure. Boom shoes! Boom shoes! Boom shoes! What is she gonna snap and rip someone's eye off? Dude, and the jorts right now? <gasps> Who yeah. wants to go watch Rugrats? <laughs> it's just my toes are literally rubbing the sides, so that's not healthy. <laughs> Straight into mountain climbers. <laughs> that was sick, bro. Here you go, Sam. He's so tired, bro. I did have these. You just gotta commit. Yeah, grab my shoulders. My shoulders are the least the greasy part of me right now between my hair and my hands, so. <laughs> the least greasy part. This is making me really not trust my ankles. Yeah, Sam's got like giraffe ankles. <laughs> What's a giraffe ankle? <laughs> they snap so easy. All right, Sam, give us a jump or two. I am I'm not, I mean like, like scared. Nice! <laughs> Motion! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Face. She looks like a deer just been born. <laughs> this is like the perfect blend of like scary and fun. What do you rate this? This is a goat. <laughs> <laughs> this is a goat. That was great, Tanner. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. It is Woods' turn. What's your next one, Woods? I'm gonna check out this ripstick. Oh, classic kids toy. I remember getting this and being like, what do you want me to do with this? I wonder if I can still do it. Oh, I can still do it. Once you rip, you can never stop ripping. Only 70 bucks. I, growing up, I felt like these things were like $200. See, see what people are saying down below. I wanna see. A rant about the price. This one is a whooping 173 euros. That's just crazy. Only reason I bought this is that the town I'm in does not sell any type of ripstick. <laughs> <laughs> this wave board is mostly professionals, hence the G. <laughs> okay, whatever that means. Which stands for grinder. Oh, I haven't been on that before. <laughs> Aren't playing on doing dangerous stunts. Don't buy it either. All right, let's go ahead and buy it. Let's add it to car. Ripstick. Ripstick. Ooh. That's clean. Give those who don't know how it works an, an explanation of what a ripstick is. Uh, well, ripstick, actually, scientists still to this day don't know how it works. <laughs> But it's really, it's in the motion. <laughs> is when you... Literally the funniest response I would have never seen coming from you. Oh my <laughs> God. But, it, but it also kind of makes sense a yeah. little. You basically, you just make, you make a motion with your body, you move these in opposite directions and it propels you forward. So we're gonna go try this out. We're gonna yeah. go, I'm gonna go invite somebody. Well, who are you gonna invite? You should call it out on set. Can I pick Izzy? Yeah, Izzy, I think Izzy, Izzy would totally rip a ripstick. No, I don't think so. He can't say it's a dope if he wouldn't actually keep trying. If he's like, not too scary for me. I'm with you on that. Which show Look at that. Out. Look at that. This is... It's like surfing on land is what it is. Yeah, kind of. These are pretty cool. Look at him, he's skilled. <laughs> the dismount is always the awkward part. There you go. Twist. Twist those I, hips. I forget, bro. Unlock those childhood hips. <laughs> Izzy, have you ever tried one of these things? Ah, uh, no. It's I not from bored. his childhood, dude. It's gotta be a dope because he relates because of his childhood. <laughs> yeah, you like just- Like a dancing or something. <laughs> exactly, that was the point. You're, it's like a dance, dude. Like a dance. Wow, you're mesmerizing. It's okay, so it's not as hard as you think. Do you wanna try it? Uh, you don't have to if you, you don't, don't have to. to. You don't want to. No, I'm a, I'm gonna keep with the old school, man. Okay. Oh, wow. that's a no. Keep that to your childhood, kiddo. <laughs> Lego Star Wars Duel on Naboo. You guys remember the Duel of Fates? Naboo. Yeah, you do. Duel of Fates. 
Everyone knows Dual Fates. That is my childhood, that, that theme song. Did you like Darth Maul? Who didn't like Darth Maul? Well, you look like Darth Maul. But instead of it being like Darth M-A-U-L, you'd be Darth M-A-L-L. -L. You'd be like a terrorist <laughs> in the mall. <laughs> okay, so when I was a kid, I had Legos galore. Well, I don't know if I had tons of Legos, but I had what seemed like a lot to me, maybe like five or six different Star Wars sets. I loved Legos, and, and they usually were all from like episode one or episode two. Oh yeah, I like Star Wars, but it's not, you know, the prequels suck. No, you suck. The prequels are my childhood. And this scene specifically, epic. Qui-Gon, spoiler alert. I haven't yeah. seen it. Really? Imagine not seeing <laughs> Star Wars episode one yet. <laughs> <laughs> he actually hasn't. Here's a little clip from the movie. <laughs> That's not how it went. I feel like they were showing me the movie then they said, wait a minute, our product instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this. Add to cart, look at this. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you enjoy. Please shop with us again. The thing about these sets here, oh wait, this actually is a, a recent set because that's like from Rogue One. Master your force. Dominia la fuerza. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you watch Dope and Open and you speak Spanish and you're either watching Dope and Open Spanish, guess what? We're gonna be dropping all of our Dope and videos in Spanish. But I don't speak Spanish. That's perfectly fine. We found somebody way more handsome and way with a way better voice that's gonna voice over for Matt. You won't get to see how handsome they are, but you'll get to hear it. All right, let's build it. It's got the best minifigures. Darth Maul, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon Jinn. Look at how cool this is. Oh my gosh, look. The laser door opens. Do you see that? It starts snowing. It opens for Obi-Wan can... He doesn't want to share with you, bro. Stop. Snowing! This is my toys. Okay. <laughs> Qui-Gon Jinn is my absolute favorite character. Name, name his favorite book. <laughs> Stumped him, dude. <laughs> this is Obi-Wan. This is the man that did it all, that ruined my childhood, but also made it. My dad. <laughs> Watch this. Obi-Wan Kenobi. After he's like been... Ooh. Spoilers, by the way. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ah, bazaar, bazaar, bazaar. Uh, oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> Quiet, get only... out of there. Wait, <laughs> what? Wait, the movie, it's <laughs> accurate. Saved him. Check this out. <gasps> no, he's back. <laughs> he comes back, bro. And he takes <gasps> out Darth Maul. And then they start kissing. What? <laughs> <laughs> This is my childhood, and I absolutely love it, especially when they're interactive like this. I'm gonna pick to relive my childhood with, <laughs> with this product, <laughs> Sam. Now, Sam, what do you think about all of this goodness? Considering I built this last Oh, I didn't, night. you built this? I had yeah. no idea. <laughs> I had a grand old time. I, I really like mini uh, Lego sets like this, and it only took like 30 minutes Again, like, <laughs> it's for practice. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of this guy again? Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Kenobi. Sorry, I forgot. It's the hair. What's it gonna be, Sam? It has to be a dope for me. I genuinely enjoyed building it. This is something I would probably buy. Oh, so let's test it, Sam. Buy it from us then. Here, Sam. You, you can you can to. pay you can pay me later. Sure. Yeah. Hey, man. You're the Obi Wan for me, man. <laughs> Alright guys, my turn. This is gonna be my final product. <laughs> what is this trying so hard to not make noise? I'm just trying hard to like not put in any effort into sitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, for my last product, this is gonna be kind of a strange one, but I loved stilts as a kid. Wait, yes. and you grew up to not need them. Yeah, God gave me some for free, dude. <laughs> also, this 90s serious music is a little bit too serious for stilts. Stick it in, stand up tall, walk around, make sure you don't fall. It's Logan Paul. Wear a hat. <laughs> Starting to think maybe like furries use this to like make them bigger in their suits. Yeah, probably. They're, they're Closet furry. All right, so let's go ahead and buy some stilts. I don't even know if I can walk on these anymore. I'm nervous of who I'm going to pick. Add a card. Because who the heck else besides me and Woods would use stilts? This is my homie Hank. I love the upshot they have on his shorts. That's gotta be super uncomfortable for him <laughs> to have posted. Rise up to 17 inches high. This would be such a good idea for short people to use on Tinder until you rip the stilts out, you know, and I'm 5'4". <laughs> I'm still so surprised that you're dating somebody. Let's try these puppies on. <laughs> Holy, I'm gonna break my face. No, dude, have confidence. Yeah, dude. You, you got this. <sighs> Stilts. 
<laughs> <laughs> I think it makes you shorter. I am bending over. I'm supposed to be fully heighted. This is my childhood. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's because I'm having to hunch over and bend my knees so much. Oh, I could have just done that. My love. <laughs> this six, is six. so much work. <laughs> Who should I use? I don't know if Bailey can use stilts. It's not a Bailey thing. Pick Bailey. I think I does have to take an automatic L because I'm afraid to put anybody on these. I'm gonna get Chanel. Come take a look at these stilts, Chanel. Have you ever been on stilts? Have you ever dreamt about being taller? On oh, for sure, I've dreamt about being taller. Uh, really? Yes. You're a good height. Oh, oh thank you. Have you ever been able to just uh, want to do this? You don't need these. You're great the way you are. <laughs> that looks real dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. You wanna try? Not necessarily because of like the danger aspect, but I don't want to make a fool of myself. Oh. I respect that too. I respect not making a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Someone open the door, I gotta go. All right, let's go. I can't believe they said that. Let's get out of here. I feel like a raptor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the L. I, I have no problem sharing any part of my life. Like it's whatever. Nerds. <laughs> Look at me, I'm wearing jorts and I have a stupid mohawk. Yeah. You know, I'm worried about crying in front of you. Oh, what a great pick. Talk us through your last product, Woods. This is a banger. I did that in my childhood. Pogo sticks were the move when we were kids. Mine was a Spider-Man one, but this will have That's cool. to do. How high does this thing shoot you? At what velocity? What is the compression ratio? Compression ratio of 324.985. Stop day <laughs> drinking with those questions. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh no, I would not get this model for a much older child though, because even at 50 pounds, he is occasionally bottoming oh, out. Oh no, he's bottoming out. This Woods, you picked wrong. I can't wait for Woods' little bottomed out boys to get smacked. Woods' is bottomed out boys. Should've listened to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna get it anyways. Add it to cart, Woods. It's shiny, dude. Bring it out, yeah. That's a nice shiny pogo. That is a big spring, bro. That's shiny. This is tight. Chrome plated. We got a skateboard deck foot holders. You got That's your cool. compression spring. What's the ratio? Uh, it's about 23 to 74 if you're day drinking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you're day drinking. Oh, we got some nice grips. Okay, ready for this? Get a shot on this. This is gonna be so satisfying, or so dissatisfying. Oh, this, this, this the screws are on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Stick pogo. Oh, That's you get cool. to do it again! You turned it over! Yeah, I'll do it. Re it's fit, relay it. Fit. Go ahead. <laughs> I shared as a kid. <laughs> Myself, only child. Yep. A rookie. I shared as a kid. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, let's hop on over here. Uh -huh. Fun intended. Uh, I picked Catherine. Hey guys, what's up? I feel like she was a tomboy and kind of understood the... I know how to do things. Yeah, yeah there you go. What's that mean? Other women don't? No. Not all things. <laughs> Not all things. <laughs> it hasn't bottomed out yet. No, it hasn't. I'm jumping just as high as bro. All the boys jumping together. <laughs> when, when you hang out with boys, but you only have one photo. <laughs> it's something about, it's just satisfying, it's simple. I'm kind of scared, honestly. I got, I got the... You got the jitters? It requires no thinking. Don't die, Kat. Don't die, okay. Watch out for your hip. Woo! Did you hear that scream? That was, that was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. Whoa, he's a machine gun Kelly. Yeah, oh, that too. This is a death sentence written on it. Check this out! But no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Give me a couple hops. Oh, yeah. This takes me back to the good old days, dude. You've just been bouncing with the homies. <laughs> I was saving the best for last, y'all. Qui-Gon Jin lightsaber. Okay, so you want to know a funny story? Yeah. Look at this. Little qui guy. qui -Gi. He's my qui guy. He's my qui guy. <laughs> when episode one came out, they didn't really make toy lightsabers. If they did, it had to come in some sort of like costume set. And the costume set had the toy lightsaber that was just for costume. It was a really thin one that would like, you know, collapse and everything like that. So before we made lightsabers, me and my brother and Trevor went down to like Lowe's or Home Depot and we just bought PVC pipes. And painted them? We sharpied them. And then we just beat each other with them. <laughs> <laughs> They'd eventually all turn to the same color because they're like making contact, yeah. but they would break and we'd just 
cut ourselves. Like, cause PVC pipe is like, it was awesome. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Your hair probably looked the same like that. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite character is Qui-Gon and there's like never anything related to Qui-Gon. I don't know why he's just the best. So I'm gonna just order the best they have. And just, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna add that ish to the cart. Okay, I'm already so excited. Look at this, bro. It's so nice, there's codes on it to lock you plebs out. Is it crazy that this looks like it's harder to get into, get into than like most actual weapons in the US right now? <laughs> bro. Okay, they did this right. You get so many different lightsabers and guess what? They're all like thick, unlike the movies. In the movies, they're like really thin. Okay, ready guys? Yeah. Somebody else's lightsaber on? The okay. Mm. There it is. Yeah. Step up from a PVC pipe. Oh, it's like you're fighting Darth Maul. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. You see that? <laughs> what does this look like on camera? <laughs> just I'm trying so hard and I'm just like. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh! It gives you scenes that are happening. It gives you the lightsaber color for that scene. Hatred. That is awesome. Dark Lord revisited. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. Hi, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon? <laughs> okay, play it. What an unexpected turn to get a Sailor Moon lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What am I jabbing? <laughs> that got me so hyped. This is the coolest lightsaber I've seen. I'm going to call forward Bailey. Did you like episode one when you were a child? I loved episode one. Heck yeah, dude. So what do you think about this? This is like the dopest thing ever. That's the cool. dopest Ooh, thing she's it. ever seen. It is the dopest lightsaber I've ever seen. Oh, that's kind of cool it's though. It's Bailey's color. So if you, t yeah, tap the button now, it's like. Oh, oh, oh I'm blocking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're shooting that. We're taking she thought she was shooting with the lightsaber. <laughs> I love episode one where they shoot with the lightsaber. <laughs> Here's the thing. Love Star Wars, but I've never wielded a lightsaber before. I was an only child, so I didn't really have it. Like, <laughs> and that was Bailey's embarrassing story yeah. from her childhood. <laughs> so Bailey, what are your thoughts? Dope or nope? Uh, yeah, it can't be a nope. Like, it yeah. has to be a dope! It means that Matt got three out of three, which is pretty impressive. Which means it's a tie between me and Woods for losers. So that means you both have to do it. All right, we can watch Woods's. That's my mom. Yeah, here we go. Woods' embarrassing story. I'm so excited because he lost. Why are you so quiet? Here, turn up that volume all the way up. Oh, she's quiet too. <laughs> I'm here to share with you an embarrassing, maybe embarrassing uh, story about Woodland when he was young. Okay. He uh, used to watch a lot of superhero movies. Spider-Man was one of his favorite. Aww, so me too. around the age of seven, we were walking in the mall and he decided to take on that character of Spider-Man. When Woodland takes on a character, he completely <laughs> dives into it. So he began dropping on his knees and webbing people. <laughs> so he'd make the sound and he was webbing people and then he began webbing the walls and then clinging to them around every six feet. So going through the mall took a really long time because <laughs> He was clean all the way, and <laughs> so people would stare, there. and he he didn't care. He was, was Spider-Man, and I would just say, yeah, that's my son. Awesome <laughs> that's mom. my son! That's like so wholesome. That's a wholesome story. That's not an embarrassing story. He calls up his mom, he's like, I know what you're gonna do, don't say it. Do the Spider-Man story, it makes me look amazing. <laughs> Let's hear Tanner's. I'm Tanner's dad, and you're gonna step mom down. Okay. Here, let me introduce you. These are my there parents. So this is my family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one time we took, He's so nervous. One time we took him and his sister to the river, and when we drove to the river on our way back, we took the desert way home. So we could drive desert all the way home. And who does that? As we were coming home, Tanner wanted to drive. At this time, 
Tanner was only five years old and his sister was jumping up and down like a yo-yo in the back seat. <laughs> and so I put Tanner on my lap standing up and oh, did it get scary. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so we said, hmm, we this is a couple, isn't a good idea. Yeah, we had a couple of big dips and it almost went off the road and we said, okay, that's enough of that. I think that's a more of an embarrassing story for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this one time I let a two-year-old drive. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> So, that's our redneck stories for you guys. That's it? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> Don't make me release mine. <laughs> well, that's my childhood. You guys suck, now I have to do mine. You, you wanna do yours. These aren't embarrassing. You guys are still on the hook, right guys? They're on the hook for something, we all get to decide. Cause yeah. those were not embarrassing. I'm angry cause I have to reveal mine even though I won. I could tell my embarrassing poop my pants story, but. <laughs> It's not like that cool, I guess. I Mine's know. actually embarrassing because there's only one thing that's embarrassing in my life. I can't believe I'm gonna reveal this and you're not gonna tell your poop story. I've already told my poop story. I literally just pooped my pants on the way walking home from the 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in seventh grade. I pooped my pants right on my own driveway and I had to go take a shower butt naked. And my dad was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, this story. <laughs> All right, let's do this. An embarrassing story from when Matthias was a kid. Oh man, do I have a good one. So. I knew it. I don't know what year it was, but Matthias was 13. I was like 10. Uh, actually, maybe he was. Yeah, why not? <laughs> You're actually gonna say that? Actually, I think he was 11 and I was eight. So we were running around Valley Forge in yep. Pennsylvania. Matthias was running after a deer in the forest and uh, the deer ran away, but the deer got its revenge because <laughs> a tick found its way onto my brother's body and my brother found it later that night on the most unfortunate position on his body, <laughs> the end of his member. <laughs> and that is a true story. He found it in the shower, and uh, they had to go to the doctor, and the doctor had to pluck it out, and uh, had to pull about three feet for it to finally come out. <laughs> three feet? <laughs> hey, man, the there's a lot of real estate. <laughs> Wait, it was inside? No, it wasn't inside. It was like right there, dude. It pulled three feet? Bro, do you know what a tick is? It, it burrows, dude. In your skin? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it burrows, bro. <laughs> so that's what do you want from me, okay? <laughs> that's not even a, it's a high demand area. That wasn't even an embarrassing story. I just feel bad for you. Oh yeah, it's not an embarrassing story. Look at his face. No, that just feels so bad. How did it get over? How did it get done? Were you running after the deer naked? It just crawled up and it found the most supple <laughs> sensual part of my body. And then it was like, I like this. I like this a lot. And I like tried to take it off and it was like, wouldn't come off. It was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. I Bro, we were like on vacation, like go to the <laughs> hospital and the doctor was like, mm. And I got so angry anytime my sister or brother would ever mention that to anyone. And so that was something my brother had over me my entire childhood. And now it's aired out. And now he can't use it against me anymore. <laughs> He's got no leverage, Joe. You got no leverage, Joe. You just spent your card. See, I don't, I, here's the thing. I just want you to know this. I don't think that's, em, that's that embarrassing for you. I just want you to know, I, I think that's really? very welcoming. Because <laughs> it's out of his control. I crap my pants because of really bad planning. <laughs> like, that's my fault. Okay, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh, it happened so twice. <laughs> All right, that's kind of your fault, then. It this, happened twice. I, I need to you stop going on hikes. Wear tidy whities or something. They find a way, dude. Raw magnetism. <laughs> All right, the fact that I've been twice made that more embarrassing. I'm just gonna put that out there. Thank you for watching this episode. You ended up hearing something about all of us. Some cute, oh. some sad, some embarrassing. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. This was awesome, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let us know what you wanna see next. Check out that video. Check out that video. We'll see you next time. Check for ticks, check. Check for ticks.